Hi, my name is Stone ID, and today we will do the first tutorial. And uh, this will be a complete series of tutorials um, containing Lua basics, Bot basics, and maybe even interface basics for Heroes of New Earth. So you can really write your own stuff for home. And we will start with setting up our workspace in Notepad plus plus, so we can write it uh, most efficiently using this program. And yeah, we'll just switch over to the program right now. And here we go. This is Notepad plus plus. The link is in the description. You can download it. It's completely free, and therefore really good if you don't have any work uh, development environment to use. And as you can see, Notepad plus plus has automatically highlighted my Lua file here. Um, my syntax is easy to read and this is unfortunately not true for all the files because if I switch to this point .bot file here you can see it's not highlighted and this is because it has the file extension .bot uh, so you can actually go to language and press XML and you can see it highlights perfectly the problem here is we would have to do this each time we open this file or any other bot file. So we can automate the, automate the process, process here and we do that by clicking on settings and choose style configurator. Uh, you will get this window, you scroll down and choose XML. And as you can see you have user extensions here. Uh, you can write any extensions here, simply separate it by a space and once you open up a file with such an extension you will have the file automatically highlighted in the XML colors. As you can see I simply wrote bot here and I also wrote bot metadata and if you plan to do user interface mods or any other mods uh, using Heroes of New Year's, uh, you will also have to add package, entity, interface and material to it. Yeah well, in the end press save and close and your file will be highlighted the next time you open it. So the second thing I want to point out is how to use a second view. Uh, second view comes handy if you want to copy paste stuff or if you want to compare stuff and in my case I have for example this abilities and uh, those are variables I will use very often and so I created this copy paste list containing and listing all my variables I have to use very often and if we left click it uh, and hold left click, drag it down and release the left click, we can choose move to other view. And as you can see we now have this file separated in the right side and we can adjust the width of this view with this drag bar in the middle. So if I want to copy paste anything right now, imagine I'm for further down the road in my file, I just can copy paste between the files like that. So this is very hand handy to use. Um, yeah, probably the last thing in this tutorial, because it's a really short tutorial. <laughs> um, if you go to search find in files, you get the find in files dialog. You can also access this by CTRL, Shift, F and it will bring up the same window. What this does, it allows you to search a full folder of files for a certain keyword. And as you can see, I've set this up to search in my extracted bot files which are placed in game bots and if I press find all right now, this takes a while, excuse me, 
you can see I've planned all instances of the word end, which is a pretty stupid search. And if I double click at any of these lines, it will open up the file and jump to the line where this word occurs. So it's a bit unhandy to press this button all the time. So what I did is I have it in my context menu right here. So if I select any word, right click and say find in files, it will open up my find in files dialog and allow me to search for the word in an instant. And you can do this pretty easy if you go to settings, edit pop-up context menu then there will be this pop-up, you just press OK and a new file will open in Notepad++. And as you can see here is a new line I've pasted in and the way this works is this here is the keyword of the menu above which is search and the next one, the menu item name is find and files full stop full stop full stop and this is exactly what is in the tab here so if you write it like this and save it you have to restart Notepad++ right now and once you restart at Notepad++ you will have this context entry so this is basically all to know and I haven't done anything further than this to set up my workspace. Maybe another thing, if you press CTRL and scroll your mouse wheel, you can actually change the size of your text. This might come handy if you have a lower resolution and you want to view stuff a bit bigger or if you want a bit more overview, so this would help you there. Also here is the word wrap button. This allows you, if I may show it to you, Right, as you can see, this allows you to, uh, this will break your lines into multiple lines if they are too long for your current view. Um, I can also show you this on the right side. As you can see, the words now wrap on the edge and will create a new line while they keep the numbering correctly. So this won't really be a new line, it will just appear as a new line. This comes in handy if you have really, really long code lines and you want to read them a bit better and have a bit more overview. Well then, I think this is it. And yeah, well, thanks for watching and I hope you will stay tuned for the next videos. Until then, see ya!